she sings very well, I just didn't like the song particularly. Oops. I know him! Twas him murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Is this real? Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. <laughs> Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Sure. Come. I'm gonna decapitate that lady. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The f it is. That wasn't my Permits choice, but. Me, uh, to introduce. Uh, this here's Persona, known also as Kalanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this. Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Wow. You're a What is Is it day? And by the way, she also have that annoying stupid makeup. Seems Dandelion left nothing out? Yeah, because the song is his, I think. Because he's the only one who could know, so he's the only one that could have uh, given it to her, and she could have, she could only have learned it from him. But uh, yeah, huh? There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs. Did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Okay. Not here. Come with me. See you later, but then I have to follow you? There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. <laughs> Siggy Reuven's vault. <laughs> Why? And I've not seen him since. I don't see him doing that, but okay. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor at once. I need to wake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. Ah, Siri. This someone. Dandelion mentioned Maybe. Name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Um, Reuven. Alright, let's keep going. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, <laughs> dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Um. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Hobson Jr.'s lair. Then mm. Hobson's men chased him all over town. Hobson mm. Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Really, get up? Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. Four? The others being Siggy Reuven, okay. Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. Okay. Rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Um... <sighs> Well, at least we are gonna deal with these uh, bleep songs. 
since I already dislike them very much. I've been killing them all over town. <laughs> uh, hope Dandelion gets out of this alive. <laughs> like, hey, bye! <laughs> I have to rescue him, not because I particularly want to rescue him, but because of the dream, because he's connected to Siri, so obvious is obvious. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. He should. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Really? Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this person first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know where to Son, but Riven runs a bathhouse. Careful though, he's a dangerous character. So am I. <laughs> I don't doubt it, but Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Alright, do you have anything? Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Yes. I've got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Uh, whenever you complete a quest and there is this vocal thing, it's really distracting. It's too loud, isn't it? Do you have something to say? Geralt! Tell me, you and Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. <laughs> well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Mm. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Take care now. Can't stand bards. I've played as bard, but th this Geralt, he doesn't. And I know he liked the song because... Uh, because the cutscene, but this Geralt here... He probably would fall asleep during that stuff. Does not appreciate at all. Hey, 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 come on. I know there's a loot there. Why aren't you giving me the loot? Uh, yeah, I'll take your blueberries. Because um, what this Geralt doesn't like is... Um, I mean, he understands that he's kind of a public figure, but he doesn't appreciate his private life being... Uh, um, you know, um, sung everywhere, and uh, because people also can make observation like she did, for example, sorceress sorceresses. I don't know, I'm not that Geralt. <laughs> so, better to Dandelion. <laughs> God. My dearest Dandelion, since you told me of your plan to rob the city's kings of crime, this is not Dandelion. I can think of nothing else. Several times I wished to talk to you to drive this mad notion from your head, but you are never at the Rosemarian time when I visit. I hope the lesser evil is true and you are busy preparing for the heist and not avoiding me. I believe, I want to believe that this entire matter is about something more than mere gold and midlife hunger for adventure. But either way, I would much prefer you abandoned it. Surely you can find another way to solve your old friend's problem. We both know quite a few folk in Novigrad, many of whom owe, uh, owe us favors. Perhaps it's time to call them in? Think it over before you get in too deep. Sensible. Should have listened to her. She seems better than him, though. Even though I don't particularly like her. Ugh, there's no f***ing integrity in this world. I know, right? Who are you? Yes? Have I heard about you? Count Kurt Dysart. Are you here regarding the contract? Hmm. Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? Oh. I did, but not just any vagabond. 
One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Hmm? Which do you belong to? Um, wolf. School of the Griffin. Can I? Nah, I would like to answer School of the Griffin because. Uh, but I'll go with School of the Wolf because technically that's it. <laughs> school of the Wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Maybe. Uh, no. <laughs> Though his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Ah! Uh, to the matter at hand. <laughs> Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now I've learned the building is set to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. Mm -hmm. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? I don't know. I need to take a look at it. So, what contract was this? <laughs> I don't... See, I don't remember. Uh, well, it's probably the one for the haunted house. Because he's talking about a haunted house. Um, I remember reading a, something on a notice board, maybe. Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already, but you've not done the job. I take half. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Navigrad and he's off his head in minutes. Do you oh, want? Well, how much do you believe this should cost me? Do you want it done or not? <laughs> Let, let's try. Yes, agreed. I should do more. So long. The problem, guys, is that I sell a lot of Back stuff. Again, trap. And um, it, the stuff I sell gets me a lot of money. Uh, in between swords and uh, armors that I randomly find, so... I don't really have need. Yeah, I don't really need to. Oh god, this place is probably full of loot. This place is cute. So I like that contract. I like the idea of the haunted house. But I think my priority should be... I think I'm love. Searching for Dandelion. I, I do like, I was saying that I do like haunted house thingies, whether they are haunted in the end or not. <laughs> I like uh, lifting curses or uh, investigate, that kind of stuff. Paranormal investigator, uh, Geralt of Rivia, curse breaker and uh, oath keeper. Afraid of pitchforks and terrified of unicorns. I believe I shall stop what is that? Why? Even with the oh, she's gone? Afraid much? <laughs> the liquor is the same, but the clientele is not. Ah, true. The rabble. They did indeed. You know what bothers me? The fact that I didn't choose to kill those Temerian guards she was referring to. I didn't have a choice in that. Pretend I did not hear that. Oh, then he can get his wife out the dungeon. I cannot tell you now. <laughs> now this is still closed. I don't know why I'm enraptured by that. So, I'm going to follow the quest line uh, properly. We are going to the bathhouse because it's uh, the first thing that's popping up. Oops, wrong way. In my quest. My quest line. You know what, though? This place 
this looks fancy. Um, I also have to remember before getting in too deep with this that I need to sell stuff or deposit stuff, whatever. This looks almost like a proper uh, Roman style bath. Knock. Let's knock then. Uh. Anybody there? Open up. Oh my god, Geralt. Why so aggressive? Wait a second! Are they closed at this time? Watch the bus! The bathhouse is closed! See? Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. <laughs> busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. <laughs> Siki Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. I don't know if I... Why do I have to undress myself? You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> You're a new nook. Eunuk, how do you pronounce that? I don't want to leave my stuff somewhere. Maybe I should have gone the other route. Whatever that was. Splendid! Sigiruvan awaits in the next room. Yeah, I, I see. I don't want to be here. Hey, boy, hey. Nice bun you have. Oh, look at Kalkstein right there. Wash. I miss you, Kalkstein. I will avenge you, Kalkstein. Who did that? Happen? Are we doing this? Ah, I need to talk with you. Son got an invite, chose not to come. Yes. Mm. Oh, I I just enter. Easy, Cleaver. Son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the f*** you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the f*** uh, a guy. Let's see. Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life and then killed that monarch. I didn't Allegedly, kill him. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Ruven, whatever they call you these days. Dijkstra? Last we met. Gerald thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. I don't know you. I... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. Might be Junior. Might be Junior. Might be Junior. 
This is Junior. <laughs> Bloody hell. I f knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. I don't have mine. What do you intend to do? First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Ah! Yeah, there we go! Why do I have a maze? Whoa! Oh my god, this place is not good to fight in. By the way, Dijkstra here... He's not... Fat. He's not fat. He's very big, but I'd say he's not fat. God, blunt weapon. Great. I can't eat because I don't have my stuff. Can I use my science? Yeah, thank god. I didn't realize I had nothing. Ooh. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. What security? I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. I didn't see Good any work, security. Son, scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Eh? Uh -huh. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know? But then, who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? Mm, great. And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Vares? Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'd, I'd say Carlo Vares, maybe. <laughs> if you want to be. Um, why do I only have these two options? <laughs> Whatever. I'm looking for Hobson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Um, I don't know. Personal matter may be too vague for these people. So maybe I could be kinda... Mm, truthful? Junior is gonna help me find someone. Hobson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. <laughs> See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle <laughs> and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your minds. A chat session. Son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So, by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise while I send my boys to son's hidey holes. Don't do They'll that. Make some noise, flush the bugger out. That's messy. Don't and do you, that. Geriatric or whatever you're plowing. <laughs> Want to find son? Find me first. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> Art. Uh, can anybody actually help me with facts, please? Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy, it's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people, and he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, 
Looking on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Yeah. Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Finally. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Yes, I believe that. I have a similar injury. <laughs> but um, I don't know what they're talking about. This is very um, disappointing for me. Mm, he uses another name, R something with the R that I don't even remember. But I remember having uh, his card popping up, the Gwent cards, and it was Sigismund Dijkstra, uh, I think. So that's that's why um, I know his name, but I don't really know. So what happened? What happened? What maybe after this talk we will have a journal entry? But I needed to have that journal entry before this, so this is a no-no for me. I'm sorry, uh, honest, a hundred percent. What should be my attitude towards this, you know? I don't know. Should I be sorry? Maybe I was not sorry. And this here right now, because of these kind of things, there is an even bigger dissonance between role-playing your Geralt and being Geralt. Uh, so... <laughs> I had my reasons. My my Geralt would say that he had his reasons, but I don't know anything. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. Oopsie. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. On Thanet? For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, what? Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Well said. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find a person? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work <laughs> alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. Mm. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> your colleague's aware of your past. What past? He wasn't thunnered. So, he must have been somebody quite important. I might have read through the games um, a journal entry or a book with him mentioned, maybe about Thund, but I don't remember at this moment. Um, let's in let's try to understand. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Why are you not anymore? A Redania intelligence person. That's that's what I want to know because it makes sense now that he was on Thund. Thunded, I don't know how to pronounce it. But what happened that he's not anymore? He retired. He was uh, 
you know, invited to retire. He was openly fired. 